Hi, my name is Robert Langendurfer, and today I want to give you an introduction into the Python, Portable Python IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. And uh, first thing we'll do here is just bring up the Portable Python program. And uh, now there's a number of uh, windows in this Portable Python. Um, one of them over here, this is the Project Explorer, and that uh, allows you to see the different files associated with a project. We're not going to create a project right away, but you should be aware of this, this uh, ability for Python to do this. Also, there is a file explorer, which allows you to go find files on your system. Um, then uh, this window here is typically the, um, this is the code window. And, uh, of course, you can uh, go into file, recent files, and open up a... Uh, uh, any kind of program that you've recently saved, and this this is where you you type in code that and and uh, you can actually save that particular code for another day, and that's what we'll be doing for all of our projects. Now um, this over this window over here is the watch window, and uh, that allows us to track particular values. Um, and the way that uh, the way that you add something to the watch window is uh, you right click on the watch window. And uh, you can you can just say add watch, and uh, you can type in a particular expression. Now, of course, that expression can be more than just a simple variable name. It could actually be a mathematical expression like a equals a plus two. Now, another ability here is you can also click over in the code window and uh, right click in the watch window and just say add watch at cursor. And uh, it'll, that, and that uh, selects the variable that's uh, right next to the cursor. So that way you don't have to save you time. You don't have to type it in. Now down here at the bottom is a very is the uh, output window, and uh, the and this is the output window for any code you execute up here in the code window. But it's also an interpreter. So uh, if you just type print. Allows you to execute a single line of code uh, at these uh, three greater than signs. So any any kind of code you want to experiment, the the uh, interpreter window is a great place to do it for a single line of code. If you ex want to execute more lines of code, you want to put it up here. And uh, like I said, this uh, the code that gets ex the code that you enter up here uh, is can be saved as a, saved and retrieved uh, with a particular file name. Now, as you can see here, this I've, this particular file I've called test1.py, and py is the uh, standard Python extension for any any uh, Python code. So uh, I want to step you through the process of debugging a, uh, a simple program, and uh, this uh, these icons up here are used for executing and debugging uh, code. So um, one of the things we can do, you can, uh, if you want to just execute the whole program, you can just click in debug mode. You can just click on this button. Now, uh, what's more useful for this debugger is to step through um, a particular step through the program one line at a time, so that you can keep track of what's happening. And of course, you use that in conjunction with this watch window over here, which will show you the values. Of variables as you're stepping through the program. So uh, first, I'm going to step, clicks this uh, step into subroutine. Now there's a shortcut for that. If you hit the F7 button, um, it's that's the same thing as clicking on this button. But uh, so I'll, I'll click on that. Now this this line shows that this is the next line to be executed. The the blue and this arrow here indicate exactly where you are in the program and what program what line of code is to be executed next so uh, and I can step into this and uh, now as you can see here the uh, the watch window is changing as uh, as as the code executes so now a we only set a equals one that assigned the value one to a of course so over here in the watch window you can see that a has the value of one and uh, I also had this a plus two uh, expression set up to be watched, and uh, of course a you know a being one a plus two is equal to three, 
and now we're looking at x. Uh, note that the initial values of these uh, variables may be random until, until you actually assign them a value. So now that a has been assigned a value, uh, it makes sense. The x uh, actually had a ver value of 2 previously, but uh, now when we actually step into this uh, for loop, and a for loop uh, uses the for loop is going to change the value of x uh, uh, over this uh, function, which is the range three. And what range three does is uh, it actually generates three numbers. In this case, it starts it always starts with zero, but then it goes up to one minus the value in range. So in this case, range is going to generate uh, 0, 1, and 2. And we'll see that happen. Now, uh, a is equal to 1, uh, but then we, when we execute this a equals a plus 1, it's going to add 1 to the value of a. And uh, you can see that in the watch window that a is now equal to 2. I'm going to remove this. This a plus 2 is a little confusing. And uh, now we're going to print the value of a, which is 2, and you'll see that show up down here in the interpreter window. And then we're back up to this, uh, this for loop. Now what it's going to do next is it's going to increment the value of x. So because uh, we started out x being 0, now x is equal to 1. a equals a plus 1. It's going to add 1 to the value of a, so a is now equal to 3 over here. It's going to print that value out. And we're back through the loop again. Uh, x is now equal to 2. A gets incremented to the value 4, and print that value out. Now, uh, now since x is 2, it's never going to actually reach this final range value. And uh, so now the for loop is complete, and uh, the program is done. Now, uh, now, instead of having to step through these things individually, you can also just click over here, click on, a partic click on the uh, blue dot here on the left-hand side, and this is what's called a breakpoint. And you can click it every time you, you you click it, it turns it on. You click it again, it makes it go away. So when I uh, when I say run, when I click on this debug button, it's actually going to run all these lines up to the point where um, this a equals a plus one line is executed. And you can do that at any any point, and the program will always stop at that particular location. And, uh, and and like I said earlier, you can keep you can see what the va particular values are at that particular point in time. Um, and then of course you click it again; it's actually going to uh, go. It's actually executed this print A, and then it'll back through the loop, and then back to this location again. So it's going to keep going through that loop, and now the program is done. And that's our introduction into Python. Thanks.